Let's get it poppin', it's the Prophet Zamar, L.O.Z. Soldier, and Yahweh told me, wake up my people, it's almost over. In the synagogue of Satan been faking, we gon' expose him, so is iron rusted, so is his wickedness, they corroded. And John 3.16, the only verse these Christians quoting, I'm looking at him like, what the hell y'all been smoking? The kingdom is my focus, my Bible is like a trophy, I'm riding for Yacharala, I'm sliding if you ain't noticed. I cut, slice, and stab, uppercuts and jab, try but you to do your best. Like Mayweather and Zab, so you trying to get salvation, huh? Uh -huh. If you from them 12 tribes, you might. Shalom, shalom. I'm Captain I know, and on the left, Captain Tazakar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to go acapella. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm your Captain I know, and I got Captain Tazakar. Yeah, and we're going to go into a quick topic today. Oh, oh, you changed the topic? Oh, okay. That's fine. You change her. Did the white man write the Bible? Yeah. I, I, was, I was okay with that one, but that's fine. Did the white man write the Bible? That's what we're going to go into real quick today before we go into the, uh, our closing for tonight. So, uh, we're going to go into this topic because a lot of times when we're out there in the streets on the four corners of, of, of America, especially treating uh preaching this truth to our people they always ask us ask us that question or make that statement yo didn't the white man write the bible or didn't man write the bible yeah man did write the bible but holy men that were inspired by the holy spirit of the most high wrote the bible not the so-called white man so in their mind because they believe that they say they're not gonna believe into the bible because a man wrote it but then we out there, we asked him, didn't the man write all those school books in your school system? Didn't the man write the instruction booklet to build up your TV? Didn't the man write the, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Did, you sound stupid. You sound stupid as hell. So, we're going to go into that quickly today. We're going to go into who truly wrote, who is the true author of the Bible, of the Holy Bible. Uh, we're going to go into a few scriptures that touch upon that, all right? So as we always start off with Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. The book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by Him. Right, so everything we do, we do it in word and deed. Just like this topic, it has to be word and deed to the law, to the testimony. We're going to prove to you today that the Bible was not written by the so-called white man. Or by any man. It had to be written by a specific type of man. Men. That were inspired by God. Alright. So first off we're going to go into the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. Alright. So this is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16 to 17. So this is very important to understand. Because when you come into this truth. First, we need, a, we need you to know that the Bible was written by the Most High's prophets and by God. And then once you understand that and you, want, and you believe in God, then all the information that come after, you're going to start believing and hearkening unto it because it's going to make more sense to you. You're going to believe like, all right, this, I can believe this because this is a spiritual book, a powerful book. And it's real and it's true. It's not what these people present it to be. To be a, a book of fables and fantasies and fairy tales. There's some powerful stuff that happened in this book that may sound like a movie. But that's where all these movies get it from anyway. Game of Thrones, the season, you know, Lord of the Rings. You know, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek. All that stuff comes from the Bible. You understand? They the ones that mimic the Bible and make it into fairy tales when the Most High was serious about it. So let's go ahead and jump into that. The book of 2 Timothy 3 and 16. Read. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Every single scripture in here is given by inspiration of God. Even the Paul of books, I mean the books of Paul, the prophets, everything was inspired by the Most High. Read. And it's profitable for doctrine. And it's what? 
profitable for doctrine. So that's what we're going to learn later on in the future as you come into this truth that all these words have become profitable for your life. Read. For reproof. For reproof. For correction. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. Come on. That and, uh, the, verse, uh, next verse. That the man of God may be perfect. May be what? May be perfect. Read. Thoroughly fin furnished unto all good works. Right. So this this profitable book of the Most High is for reproof, correction, instruction, and righteousness. That the man of God, the man of Yahweh, may be perfect. Through what? Through keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And we're going to understand as we read these scriptures that the, old, the men that wrote this Bible were holy and spiritual because they kept the law. All right? Let's go to this book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20 to verse 21. So, in Timothy's, we learned all scripture was in, inspired by, by Yahweh, right? And, and that it's profitable for doctrine, all right? 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Come on. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is, it, is of any private interpretation. Is, it, is of any what? Private interpretation. So, what does that mean? That when you're a holy spiritual person, brother... Sister, man of God, man of Yahweh, this ain't going to be a private interpretation for you, right? We need to know that first. Why? Read. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. By the will of who? By the will of man. This prophecy did not come in old time by the will of man. So we need to understand that, that the things that we learn in this Bible was not the will of man. Read. But who? But holy men. But what? But holy men, come on, of God, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. By the what? By the Holy Spirit. All right, now. So this will, this the the words that are in this Bible were not brought unto us by the will of man, but the will of Yahweh. Through who? Through the vessels, through the vessels of holy men, men that were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right. Let's find out what made these men holy. All right. Let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. The book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 12. Come on. Wherefore, the law is holy. The law is what? Holy. Come on. And the commandment holy. And the what? And the commandment holy. Read. And just. Come on. And good. Right. So the law... And the commandment is holy. What does holy mean? Set apart. Sanctified. To be separate. The Most High gave the, the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, the commandment so we can be set apart from the heathen, from the other nations. All right? Um, let's go back. Uh, not, not, not go back. But let's go to uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10. We're going to read down to 14. Right? So knowing this first, that no prophecy, no uh, doctrine, breakdown that's in this Bible. Let me not even say they, uh, doctrine or breakdown. But no prophecy, all the law, statutes, and commandments that is written in this Bible came by the will of man. It came by the Holy Spirit of Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And those men that were moved by the Holy Spirit are the ones that wrote these words in the Bible. All it is today is a... Is um a a, a a different um what's the word translation? You got your English translation, you got your Greek, you got your Latin, you got your um, everything come derived from derived from Hebrew. So this is all. It's only a translation. It's like if you're a parent and you create some rules for your children, right? But then somebody else translated. Does that mean that you did not create those rules and write those rules down? No, you all they, all they did was translate those rules. You still the author of those rules. All right, so let's go into Corinthians real quick. The book of First Corinthians, chapter two, verse ten. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. By His what? By His Spirit. So God, Yahweh, revealed those deep things, these prophecies, these 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 deep parables unto us, the children of Israel, the saints, by His Spirit. Come on. For the Spirit searches searcheth all things. 
Read. Yeah, the deep things of God. The deep things of who? Of God. Come on. For what man knoweth the things of a man? For what man knoweth the things of a man? Except who? Read. Save the spirit of man which is in him. Right. The only way a man's going to know the things of a man is that spirit of man that's within him. Understand that? Read. Even so the things of God knoweth no man. Now the things of God knoweth no man. Read. But the spirit of God. But the spirit of God. This is why it's so important to understand why the law makes you holy. Because without keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you cannot, you cannot, um, uh, the spirit of God is not going to dwell upon you, upon your vessel. Read. Verse 12. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world. Not the what? The spirit of the world. Because there's many spirits out there. I mean, we like Minister Masha always say, you know, when you sipping on that stuff, you sipping on that rum or that or that alcohol, they call it what? They call it wines and spirits. There's many different spirits in this world, but the Holy Spirit only a few, uh, only a few can have it. The only way to obtain the Holy Spirit is by keeping the law, statutes, commandments. Read. But the Spirit, which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Read. Which things also we speak, not in the world, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but what, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. But what, the Holy, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. That's right. The things that the Most High freely given us, the revelations in this Bible, the the revelation to knowing that you are Hebrew Israelite, was not given to us by man's wisdom, but by Yahweh's uh, wisdom, by the Holy Go the Holy Spirit. You understand? Yes, men taught us what we know this very day, but the Most High poured His Holy Spirit on them to freely give us that knowledge. Read. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Right, because that's how that's when we're able to compare spiritual things with spiritual things, right? That's why we're able to judge. You know, that's another topic. But you know, a lot of Christians say, "Oh, uh, a man cannot judge." But the scriptures say, "If you're spiritual, you can judge." Meaning, if you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you can judge. Read. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. But the natural man receive what? Not the things of the spirit of God. The natural man. Does not uh, does not receive. Wait, hold on. I said it right. But the natural man receiveth not the things of Yahweh, the things of the spirit of Yahweh. So, re read on. For they are foolishness unto him. Right. They are foolishness unto him. That's why people mock the Bible. That's why people mock us when we on the four corners of the earth preaching His word, preaching His truth. They call us Power Rangers. You know, they say we look like Muslims and terrorists because this is foolishness for them. They can't obtain the spiritual power and the spiritual wisdom. Read. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. That's right. Those things that are freely given unto us is because we are spiritual and we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. But we understand to obtain those, those deep things, we need to be holy. We need to be spiritual. So... The so-called white man cannot write this book because he don't keep the laws that are written in his book. He might sell it in his bookstores. He might sell it on Amazon. But if he was keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, why would he pass a bill in a law that says uh, same-sex marriage? Right? How can a man marry a man and a woman marry a woman and he be a spiritual person to write this Bible? That's insane. They don't follow. They don't follow none of these laws in this Bible. All they did was take the the structure and create their own law with the with the systems they have, the judiciary system and all that stuff, right? All right, con. Uh, we could drop that. Let's get Isaiah thirty four verse sixteen. So with with those things being known unto you, so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, you need to seek the book. You need to seek the things that are written in this book. You need to seek out the information that, that here in the light of Zion on all the YouTube channels we bring out on a weekly basis. You know, talking about your history and uh, that you need to come back and take your heritage and come back and, and start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's read that real quick. 
The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Seek ye what? Out of the book of the Lord. And what? And read. And what? And read. This way, you know, a lot of our people, a lot of, there's a there's a saying out there. They said, uh, you can hide anything. How they say it? How they say it go? If you, you want to hide anything from a black man, right. put it in a book. Right. <laughs> and you know where that comes from? Slavery. That's why a lot of the so-called black men, African-American men, or Caribbean, Haitian, Jamaican, they don't believe in the Bible because they, the white man used this Bible to um, to persuade us into doing certain things, right? And to persuade us to believe religion, Christianity, Catholicism, all these religions, right? But they used it with their own interpretation. They taught this Bible with their gains. They'll go into the scriptures of slaves and say, you know, a slave need to listen to his master, you know? But this was talking about totally something different. All right? Read that again from the top. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord <clears throat> and read. Come on. No one of these shall fail. No one of what? No one of these shall fail. None of these prophecies that are in the Bible will fail. All the things that are come that are going to come to pass will come to pass. The law, statutes, and commandments will not fail you. It will give you eternal life. It will give you prosperity. It will give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Come on. None shall want her mate. Listen, man. The Bible, I believe, is the top-selling book in the world. And, and I'm talking about all Bibles, all translations, no matter what language it's in. It's the one of the it's one of the top selling books in this world. None will want her mate. Come on. For my mouth it had commanded it. For what? For my mouth it hath commanded it. For the mouth of Yah commanded the words that are in this book. You understand? The Holy Spiritual men all they did was listen to what Yahweh said and they wrote into it. They didn't come up with those words on their own. And we're gonna prove that in a little bit. Read and his spirit and his what and his spirit and his what and his spirit did what it have gathered them it have gathered the information and events and history in the bible this was not gathered by the so-called white man the white man did not write this bible king james did not write this bible uh shakespeare did not write this bible you know what i'm saying all they all king james did was publish it you know and then there was different uh, um, translations. That's it. They, you know, I, I could only imagine the type of documents and information they have in the back. You know, they probably sitting on the true Hebrew Torah and scrolls in that building. But we're not going to obtain that right now. You know, until Christ come back. Maybe before that, hopefully. But we don't need it. Because why? Because the Most High tell us to seek out of the book and read. And if you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, he will freely give you your heritage back and the, and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you, you need to have. Uh, all right, Khan, you can drop that. Let's get... Uh, I don't need to go there. Let's go to Exodus real quick. Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. 31 and 18, Khan. So, to the so-called blacks, Latino, Native American, some of the Indians, you know, those that descend from Negro and Indian descent, the white man did not write the Bible. Stop the folly. You know, we all believe in God. If you believe in God, then you believe in the words that are coming out this book. You need to. Now, you know, I would suggest, we would suggest, that you read the King James Version, 1611. I don't know about the mother versions, them NIVs or them them half them books that only got the New Testament and not the old in it. Nah, we stick to the King James Version because it's the most accurate uh, to the Hebrew Torah. You understand? And we like to stick that because we don't we don't want to sugarcoat things. You know what I mean? The NIV likes to sugarcoat things. Uh, the NLT it don't sugarcoat, but it gives you a little more understanding in the in the language that we speak now because the King James Version 1611 is an old English. You know, and a lot of us, we speak, you know, we speak Ebonics. You know what I'm saying? We, we speak slang. So there's probably words that we like, man, what the heck? And the way they pronounce, the way they word certain sentences might not make sense to us. So the NLT, the, what's that? The New Living Translation? That's what they call it. That's not a bad version. I, I, I don't, 
I, I'm not going to go against that version, but I'm going to stick. We, we stick here to the, in the light of Zion. We stick to the King James Version. Standard or 1611. All right. So let's get uh, Exodus 31 and 18. The book of Exodus chapter 31 verse 18. And he gave unto Moses. That he is talking about the Most High Yahweh. Read. When he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai. Right. Because the Most High, the glory of the Most High, he sent his angels to, to Moses to, to commune with him so he could obtain the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Two tables of testimony. Two tables of what? Of testimony. Come on. Tables of stone. Read. Written with the finger of God. Written with what? With the finger of God. And I'm only going here to show you that even the law, statutes, and commandments, which is in this Bible, was written by Yahweh. All Moses did was bring it down the, the, mount, the mountain and give it to instruction to the children of Israel, of Israel. And then later on, you know, because he broke those tablets in, with his anger, the Most High told him to go get another two stories and just and for him to write the same information that was on the first two. All right, that's all we're going to do to show you that even the commandments was written with the finger of God, not the finger of man, not the will of man, but the finger of Yahweh. All right. So now let's go to Second Ezra, chapter fourteen. Another man that also communed. With Yahweh, just like Moses, to obtain the information that's written in his Bible. All right? So we're going to go into the Apocrypha, you know, which the Greek word stands for the hidden books. These books that are in the Apocrypha, they remove for the King James Version. Because there's a lot of information, like what we're about to read right now, that they don't want you to know. Because without this information, you're going to believe the so-called white man wrote this book. You're going to believe that, right? So, for example, this is the King James Version 1611 that has, that has all the books that's in the Apocrypha. All the books that are in here are in here. So, what we're about to read, it's in the Bible. It's just, we're reading it on, on a separate piece of paper. The what? So, we're going to go to the book of 2nd Ezra. Chapter 14, verse 1. All right, come on, let's get it. Come on, the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14, and verse 1. Read. And it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak tree, and behold, there came a voice out of, out of a bush over against me and said, Ezra, Ezra. Right, so obviously this is Ezra speaking. He said he was sitting under an oak tree and he heard a bush. You know, just like a similar story that we read in Exodus. Read. And I said, Hear my Lord. And I stood upon my feet. Then said he unto me in the bush, I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses. Right, so the bush told Ezra, the same way that I'm revealing myself to you is the same way I reveal myself to Moses. Read. And talked with him when my people served in Egypt. Come on. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the Mount of Sinai, where I held him by me a long season. Right. So just like we read in Exodus 31 verse 18, that's the mountain that the Most High was communing with Moses when he was giving him the commandments. Read. And told him many wondrous things. Many what? Many wondrous things. Come on. And showed him the secrets of the time. And showed him what? The secrets of the time. That's that the prophecies that are come that, that will come to pass and the visions that will come to pass. Even information that we don't have to this present day. Read. And the end and the commanded and commanded him saying, Read. These words shalt thou declare. These words shalt thou declare. This is what was told to Moses. Read. And these shalt thou hide. Right. So there was things that the Most High wanted us to know. And there was things that the Most High didn't want us to know. Alright. That was the same way that Most High was approaching Ezra. When he was speaking to him out of the bush. Now jump down to verse 22. Verse 22. But if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit into me. Send the what? The Holy Spirit into me. So now Ezra 
from verses 7 on to 21, uh, there was things that uh, that Ezra was seeing in a vision while he was talking to the bush, and he was having this conversation of the information that he will he will obtain, right? So Ezra said, "If there's grace found, if the, if uh, if I have found grace before thee, send me the Holy Spirit." Read, and I shall write all that have been done in the world. And I shall what? Write all that have been done in the world. Come on. Since the beginning. Since the what? Since the beginning. Read. Which were written in the law. In the what? In the law. Come on. That men may find thy path. That who? That men may find thy path. Come on. And that they which will live in the latter days may live. May what? May live. So now Ezra later on way after Moses was in the same was 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 about to receive the secret things just like Moses did and Ezra asked the most high to send him the holy spirit why because Ezra understood that that's the only way he's going to be able to obtain that information that the most high wanted him to obtain and to understand that right read on we're going to read to 26 verse 23 and he answered me saying Go that way. Gather the people together. Gather who? Gather the people together. Read. And say unto them that they seek thee not for 40 days. Right. So, Mosai told Ezra, go, go thy way and gather the people together. Right? Gather the congregation, the congregation and tell them not to seek for you for 40 days. Who was another person that was gone for 40 days for a long season? Moses. Read. Verse 24, but look thou prepare thee, mm -hmm. but look thou prepare thee many box trees. Many what? Many box trees. So what they mean, these box trees is what we understand that paper comes from trees, right? So these box trees that the Most High asked him to prepare was to go prepare and grab, your, grab yourself a notebook. Grab a bunch of paper, because obviously he gonna be doing what? He gonna be doing a lot of writing, read. And take with thee Saril, Debria, Salemia, Iconus, and Asiel. And Asiel, read. These five which are ready to write swiftly. Ready to what? Ready to write swiftly. So the most I told Israel to basically get best the five best scribes that you have. Because these men are ready to write swiftly because <laughs> when you read on later on. This information that's about to come out of Ezra, he's just going to be talking it. He's going to be saying all the information that we got in this Bible, and the men are just going to be writing it. Boom, boom, boom. Read. Verse 25. And come hither, and I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart. And I shall light a what? A candle of understanding in thine heart. Read. Which shall not be put out. Come on. Till the things be per uh, like it, performed. Mm -hmm. Which thou shalt begin to write. Shall begin to what? Begin to write. So the most I said, um, when when Ezra comes near him, that he will light a candle in his heart, right? And that candle will stay on in his heart until he fully write everything that he need to write and the five scribes from all the information that the most high is about to pour onto uh Ezra. And we understand that what? The light is the commandments right so just put that in mind i believe it's uh uh romans no proverbs 6 23 proverbs 6 23 tells you that the light is the commandments uh read verse 26 and when thou has done come when thou has done some things shall thou publish right so now when you finish there's some information that you go going to publish read and some things shall thou show secretly to the wise. Shall thou show secretly to who? To the wise. Come on. Tomorrow, this hour, shall I begin to write. Tomorrow thou shalt begin to write. Right? So, understand that, that there's information that's published for the whole world. The information that's in this Bible is published for the whole world. Right? But the secret things are for the wise. The secret things that you need to be understood in this Bible are for the wise men. 
the men that keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? So you can drop that. Um, I don't know if you had anything to add. I got two more scriptures and that's it. All right, Khan. So uh, we went to a few scriptures. You know, it was a little quick. But it's like we went to uh, so many scriptures to show you that um, the white man did not write the book. Holy men did. Right? He just calls himself white because he understands white, you know, pertains to be uh, something holy and, and pure, you know. It's a coincidence, it's not a coincidence that he called you so-called Negroes black, which means dark and, and spooky and scary, right? Because that's how he feels of you. He, that's how he feels about you, right? And he called it, uh, the Iskarites wetbacks and Puerto Rican Dominican spicks. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't holy. Actually, I could say something. Huh. Right? Because to people who think, you know, the European or somebody else wrote the Bible other than holy men, or, you know, it came from God, right? Ask yourself, as a so called black or Hispanic, why, right, in the scriptures, if, if they wrote the scriptures, why would it say in the scriptures how we're, so, we're, the, we're the best people on earth? God. Right? We're the best people. God has favor only to us, right? These nations are the devil. Right. Right. We're, you know, we're going to rule this whole earth under Christ. Right. Right. Why would the Bible say these things if they wrote it? Well, wouldn't they write it just like how they uh, took things in, in the, when they had our people in slavery? Uh -huh. Right. Just like how they had the slave Bible. Why wouldn't they do it like the slave Bible? Right. We got everything back that we needed. Uh -huh. Right. The, the other nations did not write this Bible. God. Right. That's, that's, that's true. You want to add something to it, Cap? Yeah, go to Jeremiah 30 and um, 1 and 2. Okay. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 2. <laughs> 31 and 2. 31 and 2, it's mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord. The people which were left of the sword. No, no. 30 and 1, right? And verse 2? Yeah, 31 and 2. Yeah. Huh, yeah, yeah. No, maybe I read it wrong. 31, verse 2. No, no. Chapter 30, verses 1 and 2. Right. Oh, I think it's 31. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's what I thought too. All right. 30 and verse 2. Verse 1, one and two. 2. There you go. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying. From who? From the Lord. So now this word, obviously the whole book of Jeremiah, the Most High was talking to Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah throughout the whole book, right? So this word came to Jeremiah. And we understand Jeremiah was a spiritual and holy man, right? Read. Thus speaketh the Lord, Yahweh, of Israel. Read. Saying. Saying what? Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. In a what? In a book. So now the Most High Yahweh, the power of, of Israel, told Jeremiah, write all these words that I'm speaking unto you into a book. Hence the book of Jeremiah. <laughs> it ain't say the book of, uh, of Billy or the book of uh, Chad. You know what I'm saying? That said the book of Jeremiah. The Jeremiah is a Get out of here, Siri. <laughs> oh, look. Here. The book of Jeremiah is the second of the latter prophets in the Hebrew Bible. That's right. <laughs> Even Siri know. Even Siri know, man. Come on, man. That's a beautiful precept because it's like that's how, that's how it continually happened as history went by. The most I will talk to his prophets will write down the information that he told us to write. But these were spiritual and holy men that kept the law. All right? Beautiful precept. Uh, let's get Psalms 40, verse 7 and 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 7. Then said I, Behold, I come in the volume of the book. In the volume of the what? In the volume of the book. So the Mosai Yahweh said that he comes in the volume of the book. Read. It is written of me. It is what? Written of me. The book is written of him, of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? The spirit. All right, read. I delight to do thy will. So now David said he delight to do 
who the most highs will read oh my power come on yeah thy law is within my heart thy what thy law is within my heart the most high law is within his heart because as we read in corinthians the things i have gathered into this book were not by the will of man but by the will of of yahweh and um david king david said he delight to do yah's will and that the law is within his heart so you so-called black latino native american seven indians you need to understand that the book is for you right let's get john 8 verse 47 the book is for you the book is not for the so-called white man china man hindu man arab man uh japanese man russian you know anyone from the european countries the book is for you the so-called blacks and latinos and native americans and seminal indians those that, those that live in the ghettos and the slums those that believe this book is written by the so-called white man because if you go in russia right now they have statues of the of, of the black christ they have books with uh our people in there because they know the book was about you and then you wrote this book you know read that real quick kind of snuck it. and um mm -hmm. they also got pictures nowadays of uh who is it the catholic priest right in the vatican bowing down kissing mm -hmm. the feet of black christ right Con. Con. because they they know the truth like i mentioned earlier uh, they have access to the real documents well, they know that they got to feed you guys the false information because that's going to keep you in sin and away from Yahweh. So let's read that. Uh, it was John 8 and 47. 8 and 47. Come on. He that is of God. He that is of what? Of God. Read it. Heareth God's word. Hear of what? Heareth God's word. So if you of God. You so-called black Latino Native Americans say, I believe in God on the G on the blood of Jesus. Or eh, yo quiero a Dios con todo mi corazón. If you believe, if you call yourself to be a son of God or a child of God, then you have to hear God's words. It's like it's mandatory. You can't say, I am a son of God or a child of God, and you go, I don't believe in the Bible, but I believe in God. That's this is the connection that we have. Only way we learn about God is through the Bible. Ask yourself that. How did your family learn about the Bible? It's right here. I mean about God. It's right here. Read. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. I mean it's plain and simple. If you all hear the words that come out of this Bible, then you know you ain't of God. You ain't of God. You jump into 10. Oh. Con, you get a precept. So, if you say you are a child of God, then you're going to hear the words that come out this book. Because that means you're a spiritual person. And the spiritual person hear the words of God. And understand that this book was not written by man. Or by the white man. Read. Oh, you got a precept? So, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, 1 John 1 and 6. If we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Right. Read that again from the top. First John chapter one and verse six. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Right. If we say we love God and we are a child of God, but we don't hear his words, then we become liars. Right? Because we're walking in darkness, which is sin, and not in the light, which is righteousness. All right? You got a precept? First John 4 and 6. Go ahead. Get it. I'm about to close it off because we only got 15 minutes. Look at First John chapter 4, verse 6. Come on. We are of God. We are what? We are of God. Read. He that knoweth God heareth us. Hear what? He that knoweth God heareth us. Come on. He that is not of God heareth not us. Heareth what? Heareth not us. Right. Is it? Hereby know we the spirit of truth mm. and the spirit of error. That's right. That's how you know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. By listening to the words of God. Not the words of men. 
not these different interpretations of the Bible, but the true and and under, the true and real interpretation of this Bible. That you so-called black men, Latino men, Native American, Seventh Angel men are the real Israelites, are the true Jews. And you divide, you guys form the twelve tribes of Israel, the twelve sons of Jacob. All right, so let's get. We're gonna close it off with John ten to twenty seven. Close it off with that. So, the the the, the Bible was not written by the white man. Take that mental state statement out your mind because that is false information. We went through so many scriptures, and there's probably thousands of more to show you that the, the Bible been written by holy men, spiritual men, the prophets of Yahweh. So let's finish off with John chapter 10, verse 27. Look at John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. My what? My sheep hear my voice. So the Most High's children, his sheep, is going to hear the words that come out of this Bible. Read. And I know them. And he what? And I know them. And he knows them. That's why we're gathering on the four corners of the earth. That's why we're coming together and we're keeping these high holy days and we're keeping these feast days and that we understand, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be Dominican. This is a Puerto Rican. But now we understand that we true Hebrew Israelites. Right? Read. And they follow me. And they what? And they follow me. Because as soon as we started hearing the words that are coming out this Bible, we started following Yahweh. And with that, we're going to say Shalom to the nation of Israel. Kwam Yasharela. Uh, don't forget to, to, to subscribe to the channel and uh, to like, share, subscribe to Treasure Coast channel and all the Light of Zion channels throughout the YouTube. And, uh, you know, Acts 25, give generously, support the troops. We out here spreading this truth. Uh, the cash app is dollar sign L-O-Z Treasure Coast, L-O-Z Treasure Coast. So with that, we want to say Shalom to the nation of Israel. Hallelujah. Let's get it poppin', it's the prophet Zamar, L.O.Z. soldier, and Yahweh told me, wake up my people, it's almost over. In the synagogue of Satan been faking, we gon' expose him, so is iron rusted, so is his wickedness, they corroded. And John 3.16, the only verse these Christians quoting, I'm looking at him like, the hell y'all been smoking? The kingdom is my focus, my Bible is like a trophy, I'm riding for Yasharala, I'm sliding if you ain't noticed. I cut, slice, and stab, uppercuts and jab, try but you to do your bad. Like Mayweather and Zab So you trying to get salvation, huh? salvation. Uh, If you from them 12 tries You might get